I'm gonna go ahead and just move these. Whoa! Right there. So today we're gonna to do a little activity. Me and my nephew Tay are gonna make some fire starters. Some of the materials we're gonna be using today, we got us a nice little Mountain Dew can that we're gonna to use to melt down the wax. We got our burner in the background. We got some tools we're gonna to be using. We got some tin snips. We got our cardboard egg carton. That's what we're gonna be putting some sawdust in and also some dryer lint, stuff that's very flammable. Then we're gonna pour the melted wax on the sawdust and on the dryer lint. We're gonna cut those out and we're gonna, we'll give it a little test. We'll give it a little test. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do a little operation on our can. Tay, you wanna cut that, just cut the top off right around there. Punch this, get a little nip going. And then you just kinda work All your right. way around. Now that's gonna be pretty sharp, so be careful once okay. you get that edge going. All right, that'll work. If you do this, be very careful because anytime you cut metal, it leaves very sharp edges. All right, now we're gonna come over here to the burner. I'm gonna set this on and we're gonna put our wax in it. So we're just gonna carefully set that right there. Now we've never done this before. I don't know how much of this wax we're gonna need. We just got, this is, Household paraffin wax, good for making candles and jarring and canning and all that stuff. So I suppose for this purpose, you could use any wax you wanted because you're just burning it. You got some old candles or whatever. All right, let's break that up. You go ahead and drop those in one at a time real easy. Meltdown. Oh. All right, so we got a whole bunch of sawdust. So let's do half of these with sawdust, and we'll do the other half with the drier lint. So if you want to, Tay, just take. Take a handful, kind of plop it in there, pack it down a little bit. All right, that looks good. So now same thing with these, just kind of rip off the dryer lint a little bit at a time and kind of pack it into the spots. You want to make it nice and dense. <coughs> All right, so now Tay and I got some gloves on because we're gonna be handling the hot wax. We should have had these on before when we were playing over there at the Camp Chef. But now we're gonna be pouring the hot wax into each one of these little cells. And we're actually gonna cheat on a couple of these. We're gonna, in two of them, two of the sawdust fire starters and two of the lint, dryer lint fire starters, we're gonna throw a little starting uh, lighter fluid in just to see what it does. We're gonna do that now. Okay, you got gloves on, just Good. gently, gently pack these down. Okay. Just like that. I'm gonna sneak in this one right here. Now these packed down really good. I think we should stick some more stuff on top. Let me pack that on these. All right, if you make these at home with sawdust, you want to make sure that your sawdust is old sawdust. If you try to use sawdust from something that you've just cut from lumber, it's still going to be a little bit wet. So uh, I would recommend that you use sawdust from a project that's like three months old. It's had a chance to dry out thoroughly and you'll get much better results. Okay, we heated up some more wax so we could 
make it a little more stuffing. Also to make this pour better, I pinched this a little bit. So hopefully it's kind of like a... Uh, pitcher. Pitcher, thank you. That is some hot wax. See how that's boiling on there? Okay, Tay, give those a little push down in there. Oh yeah, those are real nice, real nice. All right, so those look like they're done and now we just gotta let them sit and cool off and set up and then we will take them and we'll cut them out and we'll see what they do. So that's it for now, we'll be back shortly. All right, so we got here. We're ready to do our demo to see how things work. One has lighter fluid in it. This one does not. This one with the drier lint has lighter fluid in it. And this one does not. So we're gonna be testing two things. We're gonna test how the sawdust burns compared to the drier lint. And then we also wanna see how each one compares to its own while it has a little bit of lighter fluid in it. So Tay's gonna light them up. Oh, okay, so that one lit up real good real quick because it's got lighter fluid in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna back up a little bit. So that one obviously is burning really good. Now I'm gonna move this one over. Tay, can you light that one? We'll just see how it burns compared to the other one. So the egg carton is a nice starter. Wow, so those are both going really good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just move these. Whoa! Right there. So now the first one Tay's gonna light is, this one has the lighter fluid on it. Go ahead. Let's see what it do. Oh, look at that. Lights up super quick. That one lit probably better than the... Like that one. See what it does. Okay, again, that's just the cardboard burning right now. All right, so they're still burning. Uh, clock is at about 13 minutes so far. Right now, it looks like the wood ones, the sawdust ones are gonna have a little more life to them. But yeah, they're all burning pretty good. Again, this is the one that had the lighter fluid in it. This one did not have any lighter fluid. It looks like the real difference in the lighter fluid was just that they they lit up quicker. After they got going, it really doesn't make much difference. That lighter fluid is burnt off and now just what's left is the, uh, the material. So again, the sawdust and over here we have dryer lint. All right, so our final the one that's been burning the longest is the sawdust, and that's the one that did not have the lighter fluid in it. Um, we started this, it's at 17 minutes and 44 seconds, but I started this a couple minutes late. So these have been burning for almost 20 minutes. Uh, the lint is done. Some of that might have to do with, we just didn't have as much material to start with. But anyway, they burn great. And there you have it, fun activity. I don't know that I'd do it again because it's so easy to just go to the store and buy them. But it was fun to do and we've been wanting to do it to see how they turn out. So there you go. All right, so now Tay and I are back out here. We're actually gonna build a real fire. We got our fire starters that we made last weekend, right Tay? Ooh yeah, that looks good. So go ahead and throw it in the fire pit. And then when we tested these out, we got about 20 minutes out of them. Now we'll give that a minute to get started and then we'll just start stacking stuff around it. Mm -hmm. 